I'm Jack Arnett, and this is Soy and Cholesterol. A number of studies in the past seem to show that soy protein can lower LDL cholesterol, which is the bad cholesterol, and triglycerides without lowering good cholesterol, HDL. Researchers contributed this to the phytonutrient of isoflavones in soy. But according to the most up-to-date, the American Heart Association has concluded, after reviewing 22 clinical studies, that soy protein has a minimal impact on cholesterol. What that means is that the American Heart Association has shown and concluded that soy protein doesn't actually lower your cholesterol. But if you are watching your cholesterol and having problems with it, then soy protein can still be a good choice because soy protein is actually zero cholesterol, low in saturated fat, has protein and fiber. So what you can do is use soy as a smart substitute because it has so many other benefits. So for example, soy milk it has zero cholesterol and low in saturated fat. You could use it as a smart substitute for milk, which is a bit more cholesterol laden. Another great example is tempeh, and tempeh is just wonderful. It's a fermented tofu type of soy. It has great meaty texture and would be a great smart substitute for red meat, especially if you're watching your cholesterol. So for those of you who are watching your cholesterol, soy protein is a great heart health option. Mm -hmm.